welcome to another episode of Great Aussie Odyssey. In this episode, we have something truly unique, quirky, fascinating to share with you all. We're taking you on an unforgettable journey to the one and only Cooper Petty, Australia's famous Opal City of the World. So buckle up and hit <laughs> Cooper Pudi is located in the heart of the Australian outback and it's a place like no other. As we arrive, we're immediately struck by the otherworldly landscape with its vast open spaces and striking red desert scenery. But what truly sets Cooper Pedy apart is what lies beneath the surface. Half of Cooper Pedy's population actually lives underground to escape the scorching heat of the outback. The locals have created a vast network of underground homes, shops and even churches. It's a sight to behold and we were lucky enough to explore some of these incredible dugouts. But first a visit to the Cooper Pedy sign which is possibly the most photographed sign in Australia. Opal Miner Museum in the centre of town. The Yamuna Opal Mine was first worked in the 1920s and today is a museum. In the museum you can see the documentary story of Opal 
an explanation of opals, including different types and qualities. You can have a look through the underground dugout mine if you wish, and they'll explain the reasons and differences to living underground. But for the most part, the museum is free and well worth a visit. Let's not forget why Kuberpedi is renowned as the opal capital of the world. So we ventured into one of the many mines dotted across Kuberpedi. It's hard work, but the thrill of finding that precious gemstone is unmatched. So we visited Tom's working opal mine, which displays round and square tunnels, spent explosive faces, investigator and corbwell drill shafts and hand diggings. Information is displayed around the mine, showcasing slide faults, levels, opal seams, diving rods, bosun chairs and static tunnelling machinery. A live demonstration of a bosun chair and blower is available on their actual guided tour. Being struck down by lightning is very difficult underground. So we were able to visit three of the five underground churches in Kuberpedi. So the three we visited was the Catacomb Church, the St Peter and St Paul Catholic Church, and then the Serbian Orthodox Church. If you're a golfer, you must visit the quirky Cooperpedi Golf Course, which in 1996 was extended to 18 holes by Dennis Ingram, a professional golfer who had a three-year stint as an opal miner before joining the World Veteran Circuit. The tees are topped with artificial turf to give the suitable tee-off area. The greens are called scrapes, which are common in rural South Australia, made from local quarry dust and mixed with waste oil. When mixed properly and laid, 
it gives a very suitable putting and approach surface for playing. The greens, if that's what you want to call them, are very fast, but nothing like the fairways. If you get a good bounce, who knows where the ball's going to finish up. In its 600-year history, St Andrews, home of the British Open in July, has only ever granted reciprocal playing rights to one other golf course in the world, and that was to members of the Opalfields Golf Club in Coober Now, there is an interesting story behind that for another day, but suffice to say that members are entitled to play at St Andrews on the Belgove course, the only nine-hole layout in the middle of winter. Living underground may seem unusual to some, but here in Coober it's a way of life. The temperature remains constant, making it a cosy and comfortable place to call home. It's truly fascinating how the locals have mastered the art of living underground. The walls of these dugouts are beautifully adorned with opal gemstones, creating a sparkling and magical atmosphere. Located in a beautiful desert garden is Faye's famous underground home. The original one-room home housed by the first mail truck driver over 60 years ago, and it was then converted by Faye Naylor and two other women using only picks and shovels into a kitchen and bedroom. Later, five other rooms were added, including a wine cellar and a swimming pool. Faye was a very colourful character in a town full of miners, and her house became famous for its parties. There was no need for any bouncers, because Faye and her infamous hidden shotgun were enough security. a two metre high wire barrier stretching for over 5,300 kilometres across three states to protect sheep country in the south from the native dingo. The desert-like moonscape along the fence with, with its fossilised shells, grey, soft clay, dirt and cracks that appear to be bottomless has been nicknamed the Moon Plain, which has been the scene in numerous movies. Kanku Breakaways Conservation Park is Aboriginal owned and the entire park is a registered Aboriginal heritage site. It lies 32 kilometres north of Coober and consists of colourful low hills which have broken away from the Stuart Range, hence their name, the Breakaways. There are two lookout points which highlight the open spaces and colourful environment, leaving an impression of the long gone inland sea that our early explorers dreamt of. From the lookout, the locally named castle or salt and pepper can be seen in an easterly direction, and this outcrop has been used in a number of films and advertisements, while Panorama Hill, situated in the middle, features in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome and Ground Zero. As the day goes by, the passing of the sun changes the desert colours, creating photogenic scenes that appear surreal.
territory. No treasury? Yeah, let's try. No <laughs> treasury? Let's try. Let's try. No territory. Let's try. No territory. Hope you liked our short and sweet little episode for you today and i hope you liked our little walk around cooper Pedy. it is quirky and it is fascinating you either like it or you hate it please don't forget to like and su subscribe hit your notification bell we would really love it if you could share it with your friends and so we can share what our journey is all about did you like mike's little dance he can work out whether he wanted to be in South Australia or the Northern Territory. He can make up his own dance moves because I'm not going there. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the NT.